Hey guys, here we are today with Creativity Unleashed and our fridge door fell off. Um, it's rusted out. The tropics, things rust out very badly. You can see over here, um, the pieces that hold it are okay. They're pretty rusty, really rusty there. And um, basically the whole thing's rusty, but there's not a whole lot you can do other than um, that we could think of other than put a new plate across the bottom, which would be a little annoying. So we just figured we'd put on new hinges. So I just bought normal door hinges, spray painted them white, and we'll rivet those in place. I think rivets will hold better than uh, screws. And I think we'll put about four or six on the door so that'll spread the weight over the sheet metal more evenly and then it'll hold the weight better. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right, so we got the door placed back on the fridge in its original position. And as you can see here, the hinge fits flush we have to, um, with the door so we can just mark it properly. We'll use a straight edge and all to get them all perfectly aligned so it doesn't have counter pressure. Drill the holes, use center punch, mark them of course first, center punch them, drill the holes, and then test the rivets. And I will probably have to cut the bolts here out with an angle grinder or you could use a reciprocal saw for that. Um, so that it will allow the hinges to move since the hinges will be at a different pivot point. Those will be in the, the wrong place. So the door will open slightly different, but it should open just fine. All right, so now we have attached these hinges here and here on the opposite side with rivets. And we've just stuck the other hinges there and marked them with the marker and used the center punch and punched them. And we've drilled the holes and as you can see, we're using a level to keep everything dead straight. So there you have it. Now we're just finished putting those rivets out. We'll probably have to cut these like I was saying before, and we are probably done. Now we're just finishing cutting the bolts off of the hacks on there. All right, so we finished putting the hinges on here. I didn't know that I was going to need all six of them, but it turns out since the sheet metal's so thin, it's better to have more hinges, so the more the better, right? Um, so I have to paint those still. But I'll just show you. Here we have it, it opens and closes, actually a lot easier than it did before. And you can see here that it's sealing as well as it used to, like there's still a gap and all, but it had a worse gap I think before. So, so they have a different pivot point, so if they're both open, the door is different from the top, but I really don't care, it's like 16 years old and yeah. Thanks for watching, Creativity Unleashed.